Okay, so we got a pretty short article here. Let's go ahead and do a quick test and see how this does. Okay, so this is actually 100% original. So that's a really, really good sign. So you definitely can prompt the AI to be able to get you much more original content. You just have to know what prompts to use and what settings to use within the playground mode. Originality.ai has recently released a new update which makes it much more difficult for you to bypass their AI detection tools. So if you retest some of your old content, most likely they will be showing up as um, AI detected. It's much more difficult to get 100% human written content with the new update from Originality.ai. So in today's video, I'll be attempting to find some new methods that you can use to help you reduce the amount of content that will be detected by the AI and increase the amount of content that will be detected as human written with the new originality.ai update so let's go ahead and get started the first method will be to create a new and unique prompt that you can use on chat gpt or in the playground mode to help you bypass the new ai detection so the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm actually going to copy all of the content from the new test so essentially this tells you um, what are the markers and how the new originality.ai test compares to some of the other ai detection tools in the market so i'm going to feed all this information into chat gpt and then i'm going to tell it to take away what we need to do um, according to this study to be able to bypass these AI detection tools and use that as a new prompt and see how that works. So we're going to tell it to extract all of the key information needed to be able to write content that bypasses the AI detection tools mentioned in this article. Let's actually use GPT-4 instead of GPT-3.5 because GPT-4 has a larger token window so we'll be able to get more information from it and actually use that information to then generate an article. Okay, so here's the information which we got back from um, this article. So this is some of the points which we need to include if we would like to write content that is less likely to be flagged as AI generated. So you need to write content manually, um, having a more human touch, incorporate personal experiences and, and anecdotes, include unique personal experiences or stories, avoid repetitive phrases, be mindful of grammar and punctuation, and ensure a logical flow and coherence. So this, um, by following all of these criteria, we should be able to pass an AI detection um, tool. So let's actually go ahead and copy this and we're gonna paste it into the system here. So again, we're going to be trying to create our own prompt here, uh, a new and unique prompt that allows us to get by the new update on originality.ai. In addition to the new criteria in which we found from these articles, I'll be adding in some more um, original um, criteria that people have added in to content to make sure that it's able to pass these AI detection tools. So perplexity, burstiness, um, breaking up your AI sentences, um, also not using commas, using extra adverbs, prepositional phrases, avoid commas, use alternate or wonky or rare slang words, remove random commas, and so on. So by adding in these new prompts, we should be able to reduce the amount of AI detection within our content. Now, I don't know how this will work on the new update, so let's go ahead and give it a try to see what score we'll get back from an article. Okay, so this is the prompt. You're an expert blog post writer. You specialize in writing highly engaging blog posts on any topic. When writing, make sure to include the following instructions in your writing. And we've included the new instructions that we found from the article. And we've included some older instructions that usually work when it comes to reducing AI detection. So let's actually go ahead and continue running the content here because we want to get a nice long blog post. Okay, so this is the content in which we got back and we haven't changed any of the settings here. So let's actually go ahead and see how this does in terms of AI detection. Let's paste that in there and we're going to paste in the last paragraph here as well. And personally, I don't think that this is going to work very well because I think this would work very well on the old update. But yeah, as I thought, um, your content is still 0% original and 100% AI. So as we can see, that didn't work that well. Um, the content is still 0% original and 100% AI. So I would recommend actually playing around with these settings here. So specifically the frequency penalty and the present penalty here. And by playing around with these settings, we should be able to get an uh, increase in human rating content. So let's actually go ahead and increase the temperature setting. We'll increase the frequency to about 0 0.38. We'll also do the same thing for presence penalty we'll uh, get it around 0 0.3 as well. So 0 0.3 for both of the frequency and the presence penalty, and we've increased the temperature to one. Now let's go ahead and run the same input and see how this does. Okay, so I've went ahead and tweaked our prompt. So I've told it to write in a very personal way, first person, um, include multiple literary devices and anecdotes. And again, I've increased the frequency penalty to 0 0.43 and the presence penalty to 0 0.49. 
and we have a much more personal piece of content here so let's again go ahead and give this a test and hopefully this does a lot better but as you can see it's very hard for you to get by um, the AI detection tool in originality.ai again as you can see here it's still zero percent so if you can't really um, get around by using the frequency penalty or the presence penalty another easy way is to use a content rewriter so let's actually go ahead and um, try out some different content rewriters to see which one works the best so I've used a pretty basic um, content rewriter tool. It's called SpinMod and it's completely free. I use the basic spin and as you can see here, the content quality isn't as good. It's definitely um, decreased compared to the original piece of content. But if you actually go ahead and paste this into originality.ai, it does pretty good in terms of originality score. So if you are rewriting, then I recommend finding a high quality rewriter. SpinBot is fairly decent. Jasper AI is also really, really good. If you have an account for that, that will work fairly well. But let's go ahead and give this one more try in the playground mode because I really do think if you're able to figure out a way that gets you even 50% to be a human rating content that will be very useful for you rather than having to rewrite your content because you can lose a lot of the essence of your essay or your article if you're rewriting it. So again, we're going to use the same prompt within the system, but we're going to change around the frequency and the presence penalty. So for frequency penalty, we'll go to about 0.6. Um, eight a little bit more than that and then for presence penalty we'll go to around 0 0.4 and then for temperature you can go to you can put that all the way to one because temperature really allows you to get more creative outputs so before we get started i've removed all of the prompts that we had from before because i'm thinking that it's already been trained on that for the new update so maybe that's why we're getting um such a high ai detection score so let's keep it very simple with a very simple prompt but i've also included it to write in a very personal um, way use literary devices and anecdotes as much as possible so let's go ahead and run this and see how this does uh in terms of ai detection Okay, so we got a pretty short article here. Let's go ahead and do a quick test and see how this does. Okay, so this is actually 100% original. So that's a really, really good sign. So you definitely can prompt the AI to be able to get you much more original content. You just have to know what prompts to use and what settings to use within the playground mode. So let's go ahead and actually see if we can get a longer piece of content here. Um, and see if we remove any of these settings if it makes any difference. So let's reduce the frequency penalty to about a 0 0.58. We'll also reduce the presence penalty to 0 0.3 because sometimes when that's too high, the content is written in a very weird way. And let's try a different um, blog post topic. So the new article is being generated. I just changed the topic, the blog post topic, and I reduced the frequency penalty and the presence penalty a little bit. So now let's go ahead again and copy this over and we're going to do another test here. And this one is 0% original and 100% um, written by an AI. So that's really weird because we didn't really change much. So let's put back the frequency penalty to about 0.68 and we're going to increase the frequency penalty to about 0.43. And let's just run this again and see if there's a difference. Now let's see how this does in comparison to the previous setting. So it definitely does make a difference what number you put your frequency penalty and your presence penalty it looks like 0 0.6 is probably the sweet spot or a little bit higher than that for frequency penalty and presence penalty around 0 0.4 is um better so i guess if you increase the frequency penalty and the presence penalty then you can get more original content but just be careful when you do so because sometimes the content uh, starts writing in a very weird way so it's about just about finding that sweet spot for your content which you're writing so i definitely recommend playing around with this setting and seeing um, how you're able to do in terms of your outputs if not you can just generate your content and use a high quality ai rewriter so then rewrite the content and if it uh, still has the essence of your blog post you can definitely run a test on originality.ai and because you're rewriting it it should be able to reduce the ai detection but as you can see right now the only way in which you can get by the ai detection update from originality.ai is by playing around with the frequency penalty and the presence penalty but again be careful because if you go too much um, then your content may not sound as natural 
So that's the only method right now in addition to rewriting the content using a content rewriter that works. If you know any other methods that works well for you, let me know in the comments below. But I wouldn't really worry too much about your AI detection score. At the end of the day, I made a video recently, I'll link it in the description, which talks about why AI detection scores doesn't really matter that much, especially in the eyes of Google. You just need to focus on creating very high quality content, um, not just using AI copywriters, but also adding in your, your own human touch and making sure that you're satisfying the searcher's query uh, for that specific keyword and that you have the most updated and the most engaging blog posts uh, for the keywords that you're going after. If you focus on that, then you will be able to rank irregardless of your AI detection scores. If you enjoyed today's video, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.